Hi, this is Shell of Shell's Creations, and today I want to show you a nifty technique for making your papers look embossed in Photoshop Elements. You can also use it in Photoshop, the technique is the same. First of all, today I am using some papers from About a Boy. This is the navy paper or dark blue paper, and I also have the uh, Wheels 2 in gray. Uh, the first step that you need in embossing is to choose a paper that has a pattern on it. This works better if it's a pattern with high contrast and so we're going to up the contrast on this one. Um, I have, uh, we are going to do a couple different ones so that I can show you. This paper is from Love Grows, it's the Plaid Hearts. We're also going to turn it into uh, an embossed paper so that I can show you the differences. It doesn't have a lot of contrast. There's not a difference in some of these lines. Some are darker than others, some are lighter than others, and there's a few hearts here and there. The first step is to save your the paper that you want to become the embossing texture or the design as a PSD file. So go ahead and do Save As. I'm going to call this one Plaid for Emboss and I'm going to save it as a PSD Photoshop file and I want to put it on my desktop. Okay, let's change the texture on this one before we begin. First of all, the area that is dark is the area that's going to be embossed and in this case I'm kind of backwards. I'm going to hold down my Command or Control key and hit the key I. I is for inverse and that will or invert and that will change my black to white, my white to black, but I still get quite a bit of gray here. And so I'm also going to change the levels on this. I'm going to hold down the Command or Control button and press L for levels. And you can find these menus up top as well. And I want it to be completely white. What you see here, this little mountain right here is the blacks. This little mountain right here is the whites. So let's take our white arrow and move it over here because we want everything there to be white. Let's take our black arrow and move it over here. We want everything there to be black. Now I've changed this paper to something that is just white and black and because of that I'll get a better embossing and I'll show you that as we do it. Let's save this one as wheels for emboss and it needs to also be saved as a Photoshop file and I'm putting it on my desktop so I can find it. Okay, now let's bring up the paper that we want to emboss. The technique, remember there's two parts. The first thing you have to define your pattern that you want to emboss, and the second part is just to emboss something. This is under Filter, Texture, Texturizer. One of the standard textures in Photoshop Elements will likely be what comes up, or the last texture that you used. But you have the option of loading your own texture. Right up here there's a little circle with an arrow. It's slightly different in Photoshop. It's a menu bar with an arrow next to it, or three little lines and an arrow next to it. But this is where you need to load your texture. So click until you find the load texture. And now navigate to where you have saved your texture. Um, let's do the hearts one first. Plaid with hearts. We're going to load that one on. Your scale has probably not been messed with and so it will probably come up at 100%. You can adjust the light direction as to where it comes from. In particular on this one, if I have the light coming from just the bottom right, I don't see the, the plaid. I only see the light coming from one direction. So I'm going to change that to just right and then I should be able to see both directions. Yes, I can see both directions. We're also going to zoom in on this. Right down here are some buttons where you can zoom in so that you can look at it up close. If you remember, this pattern also has hearts here and there. And you can see the differences in how the contrast affects this embossing. Remember, some of the lines were very dark and some of them were much lighter. And because of that, there's almost not an embossed line here on the light pink stripe. And there are really dark ones here during in the fuchsia and navy sections. And we can hardly see those cute little hearts at all. Every once in a while, you'll see kind of the faint outline of one. And so picking a good paper to emboss is important. Let's go ahead and choose the other one. Back up here to load texture. I called it wheels to emboss right here. Let's load that one. There we go. And now I'll explain a couple of the options that you have here. Um, I already mentioned the scaling for me on this one. That's a really small scale. It's It looks okay, but I don't think you get the feel of the embossing because those lines are so faint. So play with it to get something that you want. Let's go back out so that we can see the whole paper. And let's adjust the scaling up to 200%. Now, normally I don't recommend that you enlarge anything in Photoshop because the enlarging is not perfect. But embossing is okay if it's not perfect. It's okay if you have a slightly soft edge on that. It just creates a softer emboss. Uh, I'm going to change the light direction back to bottom right on this one. Uh, mostly so that you can see the, the differences on the next couple of uh, things that we do. 
the bottom button, a combination of the light direction and this bottom checked button right here, invert and not invert, will depend on what it looks to you, whether it looks like the vehicles are raised or whether it looks like the vehicles are uh, pushed down into the paper depends on what light direction you are used to looking at. It's kind of a bit of an optical illusion. So play with the light directions and checking the invert button and not checking the invert button until it's something that is the appearance that you are looking for. Also I should mention that relief is how thick or how far that's pushed in. If I lower the relief to a 2 then it's barely faintly embossed. If I raise the relief, in particular this one isn't one with a good raised relief because they are so tight of lines you end up getting really drastic lighting on it. The default uh, that, or the setting that I have found that I liked on this was a, a relief level of 4 and depending on the pattern you're using it may depend on what you want to adjust with that. So play with it until it's something you like and then click OK. And there you go. There's our paper ready to be scrapped. If you have any questions, you can reach me at shells.creations1 at gmail.com. See you next time.